How does a town with a population of 100 keep people coming back? The answer, butter. And this week's Finding Minnesota, WCCL's John Lorson shows us how Millerville butters up its visitors. Minnesota farm towns seem to have similar characteristics. A quaint main street, a tractor dealer, a baseball field, and in the case of Millerville, a whole lot of butter. It is safe to say that baseball and butter make Millerville go. Correct. That's kind of what put its name on the map. It's been that way for more than 120 years. The co-op creamery, which also includes a hardware store, groceries, and a mechanic, all in the same building, is one of the few of its kind left in the entire country. And it takes a village to keep things running this smoothly. There are more than 400 co-op members, and not all of them live here. We've got Alaska, Montana, Florida, California. It's very unique to have that kind of support coming from all over the country. It's also unique to keep a butter business going since William McKinley was president. Ed Heron was a Millerville butter maker in the 1950s. He returned for a walk down memory lane. It's different. It's different. I think it's wonderful. It's really changed nice. Eric Hubbard is the current butter maker. It takes his crew about three days to make one batch. Day one is pasteurization, when the creamery fogs up so much you can't see a foot in front of your face. Day two is all about the churn. And day three is packaging. This is how you get a workout in Millerville. This is how you get a workout in Millerville. They are bricks of butter, but in this town, they might as well be bricks of gold. Individually hand wrapped. Each brick weighs a pound. It's like wrapping a Christmas present. Oh, <laughs> They're going to open this up when they buy it at the store and be like, what goofball wrapped this one, huh? That's right. Visitors can watch the entire process. Sweet corn season is when they like to spread the word. An historic yet small creamery that still has big dreams. We're at 32,000 pounds. We'd love to get to 350,000 pounds. We want to be all over the state and maybe one day even nationwide. In Douglas County, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Good for them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Millerville <laughs> makes a batch butter and it is sold throughout different parts of the state. And for more information on how you can tour the creamery, visit WCCO.com links.